Hey guys, this is Melissa, and today I'm gonna to give you a little tour of my minimalist kitchen. If you've followed me for a while, you've seen one of these tours already, but you know, life changes, my lifestyle has changed, the number of people living in my house has changed. So I thought I would give you a little update on what a real functional kitchen looks like when you try to live with less. I think a lot of the minimalist home tours or kitchens that we see are beautiful, but it tends to be more aesthetic than functional. Without further ado, here is my kitchen. So starting in this cupboard, in this basket, there's like ibuprofen, uh, supplements, just things that we don't use on a daily basis. Uh, back behind there is a jug with like a spout on it that, you know, I use for parties or if we make homemade lemonade or something like that. Some empty storage containers back there. And then my giant half gallon water bottle that I need to get out and use more often. Um, in the pantry here, I mean, I have posted about this before. Uh, it's it's narrow, but it's deep, so I find putting things in baskets to work the best because I can just, you know, pull these out and see what's back there. Um, I've got, you know, baking stuff divided. Uh, I did add my spices to this cabinet not too long ago, and this is just like on a lazy season thing. And things like that. On the bottom shelf, I have my cleaning supplies, extra box of Kleenex, things of that nature. Up here above the microwave, <laughs> I actually can't reach. Literally all that's up there is dog treats. So that's kind of my husband's domain. Over here, this is where I used to keep the spices. And I mean, it was neat, but it just, I don't know. It just, I didn't like that it was separated from the rest of the food, I guess. So cleaned it off. I put these two pans down here. Up here, like in this basket, these are like my daily vitamins and medicines. Um, over here, I've got things like um, prescriptions I've refilled, but I haven't run out of the old ones yet. Um, my force of nature system, dishwasher soap, and clear up there are a couple of pot holders. And you can see I keep my utensils just out here on the counter. The sink, um, I do have just some little kind of twinkle lights over the sink. You know, you gotta make dishes as fun as possible. These are just some herbs that I got with my grocery order from Walmart. And I'm not great at keeping them alive, but they're just a couple dollars. Um, kind of fun to get and adds a little greenery to the kitchen. But let's start with this cupboard over here. I've got my saucepan on the top, colander, which actually one of the legs is broken off, but it's still functional. We haven't found one that we like better, so we still use it. Our plates and bowls. Um, and then I've got these little containers here. I like these like when we host things to put, you know, pickles, olives, things like that, or dips. Um, I would like to get actually a set of larger bowls. Um, you know, we eat plant-based, so a lot of like oatmeal and giant salads and stuff, and those bowls just aren't cutting it. Um, here I have some of my dry goods in mason jars, um, and then just some empty space, which used to bug me, but I'm learning that it's okay to have some empty space. You know, say I bought like a bag of chips or something and I don't want it out on the counter. Well, now I have room. So in this next cupboard here, there is a plastic, oh, there's a lid up there. <laughs> I'll have to have my husband get down because I can't reach. Um, there's a plastic bowl that usually goes there, kind of like a mixing bowl. My kind of glass bowl, which I actually used to eat my oatmeal. And then this stainless steel mixing bowl that has a lid on it. Coffee mugs, I recently went through again and really decluttered. Um, 
I inherited a bunch of my great grandmother's teacups, which is fun, but it kind of eliminates the need to have 70,000 coffee mugs. Um, here we've got like my Starbucks cup with the straw, and these are obviously like travel coffee mugs. I do, you know, I drink tea and stuff out of them, but I do even like to put water in them because it keeps it cold. Um, some wine glasses, and we use these uh, mesa jars for our cups. I have quite a few more, but it was getting overwhelming in the cupboard, and for the most part, it's just my husband and I, so I put some of them away and left a more manageable amount out here. Um, and as far as like Tupperware and stuff, you can see, we do still have quite a bit of plastic. Um, there is some glass, like these are all glass, um, this one's glass, but my husband takes his lunch and the containers don't always come home. <laughs> so this is just where we are right now. Not 100% sustainable, but we're getting there. In this cupboard, I put my waffle iron up there. I don't use it a lot unless my stepsons are here. Um, so, you know, it's still accessible, but not kind of cluttering everything up. I've got my liquid measuring cup. This is just a serving tray. Like I said, we do like to host things. Um, that is my table runner that I took off my table, just kind of digging it, being bare right now. One set of cookie cutters. My electric kettle that I use a lot. Um, that teapot my daughter got me kind of not great to pour out of, so it may have a short lifespan here. Um, my mom got me this shot glass when they were on vacation. Um, I figured I could use it to measure things, but if that may, <laughs> that may have a clock ticking on it as well. And then just all of my tea. I'm, I can't, sadly, I can't drink coffee anymore. So I've gotten rid of all of my coffee as far as the drawers go, uh, this is kind of my sponge drawer or cleaning drawer. I do like Mrs. Hinch, so I probably do own a ridiculous amount of sponges. This is, you know, Ziploc baggies, garbage bags. Again, this is kind of my husband's domain, so, you know, real life, that's how he leaves it. This is the drawer with dish towels and dish rags. I try to buy cotton dish rags and flower set dish towels. Um, I got gray because I like gray and I thought they would be easier to keep clean, but quite frankly, I find they just look dingy. <laughs> and then here are my cleaning rags. I'm trying to get away from microfiber because it is not environmentally friendly, but that's what I have left. Um, I just opened all these drawers so you could see them. Silverware drawer. Got some straws and stuff over here. I'm using the straws. Measuring cups, just kitchen gear there. And this drawer, this stuff, I do put my cutting board in here sometimes when I don't want it on the counter. And this is our junk drawer. I got my label maker, um, some light bulbs, tape, things of that this cabinet. I've got like my baking dishes. You can see the extra mason jars, hand mixer, iron, cookbooks. Um, our juicer, we don't use it a lot, but my husband's not quite ready to get rid of it. Over here, I have my Instant Pot, Green Pan, Vitamix, and our stupid toaster oven. I'm so ready to get rid of it, but my husband is not, so it's hidden under there for now. Under here, we have recycling, and our glass recycling is taken separately. Um, carpet cleaner, uh, fire extinguisher, and then I just use some like command hooks and stuff to hang up the gloves and duster and all that good stuff. My husband did finally put this liner under here. Um, apparently the people that owned this, owned this house before us had a leak and so this looked really gross under here. So I'm thankful he did that. It's on the counter. I did cover it a little bit. Um, this is the only diffuser that we have in the house anymore. I do like to diffuse just to kind of put a nice smell in the house and especially if there's any gross cooking odors or anything. Um, I have some eucalyptus stuck in an old salsa jar there. Over here we've got the paper towels, the herbs, and the cutting board. 
We try to use cloth rags for almost everything, but let's get real, we have dogs, so occasionally paper towels are necessary. As far as my dish soap and hand soap, I got these containers off of Grow Collaborative. I really like that the hand soap is foamy, so I just put water and Dr. Bronner's in there. And then I believe that's seventh generation dish soap that I have right now. And I keep it so cold in my house, but it is kind of separated. Finally, on this other side of the room, we have this kind of cube shelf. It's not necessarily intended for kitchens, but I am working on, as you can see, kind of emptying this out. I think I might get rid of this and then just have like a stand for our water filter. I just find that this is kind of a dust catcher. And the only thing is our air fryer sits over here. It's too tall to sit under most of our cabinets. So I would probably have to find room for that in the pantry. And there is a mop bucket because this is- so There you have it. There is a tour of my kitchen. It's not the most beautiful kitchen you will ever see, but it's very functional and it feeds my family well. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.